look, if your CRM doesn't have all of the data about your prospects that you're talking to and their companies, how can you be possibly building meaningful relationships? It's hard to connect with people that you know nothing about, right? This is why in this video, I'm going to show you how to enrich your CRM with all of the data to build stronger relationships. Specifically, I'll show you how to turn this into this. Let's go. If you're lucky to use one of these CRMs, you can integrate a lead enrichment tool like Apollo natively with just a few clicks and no hustle whatsoever. Let me show you how to connect your CRM to Apollo as a data source. Click on settings over here, then go to integrations. Pick the CRM of your choice, HubSpot for me. Let's click connect. Okay, and just like this, we have successfully connected HubSpot to Apollo. A few important things, you want to make sure that push contacts here is enabled. This way, when people, for example, reply to your outbound campaigns in Apollo, let's select reply. We're going to push all of the data and let's push accounts as well to HubSpot. I'm going to click on save to save the settings and check this out now. Let's go to our lists. I have a couple contacts over here that I can select like this and I can push them directly to HubSpot. And the first time we do it when setting it up, I'll need to map the stages in Apollo to the stages in HubSpot, like this, for example. Click on Save. And now let's push the data to HubSpot. So when we go to our HubSpot contacts, let's refresh. Here we have two contacts that were automatically created. And the best part, let's click on Sebastian. We have their phone numbers, their email addresses, and most importantly, automatically we have their company that we can visit just like this. To do some additional research, we can also click on the company profile itself. And here, if we scroll a little bit down, we know their size, we also know the description about what they do really quick, and the LinkedIn page to the company that we can also see. To get some additional ideas, some additional inspiration, this is great. But the problem, in my opinion, is the following. When we go back to our contact, we actually do not have information. We don't have their LinkedIn profile. Luckily for me, I've created a custom field inside HubSpot and called it LinkedIn link. And all we need to do right now is go back to Apollo and map the data coming from Apollo to HubSpot. To do this, we're going to go back to our HubSpot integration. Let's click on integrations, view HubSpot, click on connect mapping. And here under default fields, there is the field that's called person LinkedIn profile, and I can map this data to our custom field in HubSpot called LinkedIn link. Let's click on save. And there's this box that's called autofill, which will automatically add the data if it doesn't already exist. Let's hit it here. Let's add the phone number as well. Why not? That sounds good to me. I'm going to click on save. And now if I click on enrich, I can go to CRM enrichment. Now let me manually add a new contact over here and get it enriched. Okay, there we have it. Now let's go back to HubSpot. Let's pull all of the HubSpot contacts to Apollo like this. And according to Apollo, it might take up to a couple hours to get all of the records, which is a really, really long time. But then you're going to click on Enrich over here and go to CRM Enrichment and all of the contacts are going to show over here. And we're going to click on Enrich All. And now when I go back to my HubSpot contacts, I can click on the contact that I manually created and here is my phone number and my LinkedIn profile. Check it out. Pretty crazy, right? And we can go back to our HubSpot settings, go to CRM enrichment, and all of the data will be pulled from HubSpot and back and forth. But what if you use a different CRM that does not integrate with Apollo? Well, I have good and I have bad news for you. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that you'll need to build an integration yourself. And the good news is that it's super easy to do using the workflow automation tool called Bardeen. The link to the automations we're building in this video and to Bardeen down below in the description. So go ahead and grab it. For our first use case, I'm going to start with something simple and go ahead and enrich Google Sheets. Technically, whatever CRM you use, you're probably going to have the following fields first name, last name, the company, and the email. So from this information, I want to find people's LinkedIn profiles, their company's LinkedIn profile description, and all of that good stuff. How do we do it? Let's go ahead and open up Bardeen and build an automation from scratch. I'm going to create a new automation. The first action is going to pull the data from the spreadsheet. It's called get table from Google Sheet. This table is called prospects list. And the tab is called prospects. Click on done. Then we're going to use Apollo integration over here. And we're going to pick this get contact info from Apollo, map the data coming from the spreadsheet, such as the email. 
over here. Let's map the first name, then the last name, the organization. Okay, just like this. And what's left is for us to update the spreadsheet rows. I'm going to add a new action. Update rows, pick the same spreadsheet. Finally, we need to tell Bardeen how to update those rows. There is search rows by column. So this is our unique identifier, which is email in our case. So we're going to find the email column and we're going to match the data coming from our follow action over here, person, email. And okay, we've mapped all of the data. Now there'll be a bunch of new information coming from Apollo. We can update the existing spreadsheet rows if we have those columns created, or we can dump all of the data that we have coming from Apollo to this spreadsheet with the fields being created automatically. I'm going to click on use commands and just pick action number two, person object all fields. So all of the fields that are coming from the person object will be sent to this sheet. Let's click on done, give this automation a name, and let's go ahead and run it. Okay, and there we have it. Uh, look at this. Here we have all of the additional fields, such as the LinkedIn URLs, which is great, people's phone numbers, even their photos, their titles, and some Twitter profiles. This is great. Super easy, right? And now instead of blindly calling those phone numbers, you can actually go and check out people's LinkedIn account, see what they're interested in and have more meaningful conversations. And by the way, if you're interested in this Google Sheets enrichment use case, I have a dedicated video exactly about that. Click here to watch it. Now let's go ahead and try something a little bit more customizable, like Airtable. Here inside Airtable, I have a number of contacts and notice this, I'll have any other additional properties such as LinkedIn profile URLs and all of the extra information I might need. But that's no problem because Bardeen is going to create those fields for me. Let's go ahead and open up the application. Let's create a new automation. Let's select Airtable. This section is called Get Values from Table in Airtable. And I'm looking for the People tab inside my real estate CRM base. Great, that's our first action that pulls all of the existing data inside Airtable. And now I'm going to add a new action, select Apollo and find contact information from Apollo. Here we have some data coming from the Apollo action. Let's get the emails. Let's get the full names. This property is called name. And finally, let's add the organization done. So we're pulling the data, enriching the data, and now let's put it back into our CRM inside Airtable. And for this action, we need to update records in Airtable. Let's select people tab. The second argument here asks me for the column by which the rows will be found that need to be updated. So I'm looking for this unique identifier called email. Okay, there we have it. And inside the email column, we'll go ahead and find each individual value, email specifically, coming from Apollo. So if a person has the same email as the one in the air table, we're going to update that row with values. And finally, here we need to update the rows with data and we can use commands and dump all of the data from the second action, from the Apollo action, person, object, all fields. So all fields that are coming from Apollo will be added to our air table. Let's click on done, done again. Let's give this automation a name. I'm going to call it Airtable CRM Enrichment. Click on save. And now check this out. Let's click on the automation. Okay, it's done now. Let's go back to our Airtable. Let's scroll to the right. And here we have all of the data, the headline, the country, people's LinkedIn profiles even their phone numbers. Super useful. And by the way, Apollo is not the only data provider. You can use the Bardeen Scraper to go to each domain and scrape information about every company. And then you can even add an artificial intelligence action to label the data. Say, is it a B2B company or a B2C company? It's no longer about having a digital butler because AI can be your private detective. And by the way, if you want to learn more, I have a video that goes into detail about Apollo and Bardeen integration. Click here to check it out next.